trading projects in .NET Core using the CLI is very f similar. So the way we have created our first Hello World console based application, in a similar fashion, we can create a web based application as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can use .NET new again to see what options we have. So what we are going to do is create an MVC application and we can do so by using .NET new and then saying MVC and specifying the project name. So let's say I will call it um, hello web or uh, let's say hello MVC. This has got all the packages required for the application. So we can see that we have a folder created. We have a couple of files for us. And uh, I'm just going to open up this real quick in VS Code. So we have a, a startup class. We also have the program class. Then we have our CS project file uh, similar to what we had in our console based application as well. So as you can see this time we have a reference a package reference to razor.design and we also have reference to asp.net core sp.net core.app. So let's close this and um, if I run this as it is if I say .NET build and now since the build is successful I can say .NET run and now if I run this application uh, we will be able to run it but you will have some a few errors when we try to access it so as you can see we can run this app uh, we can visit the application at http localhost 5000 or https localhost 5001 so let's do that so actually we when we tried to access localhost http localhost 5000 we were redirected to https this is HTTPS and localhost 5001. So let's see if I can move ahead. Yes. So now I can access the insecure being it an uh, insecure version, but I can still access it. But there's a way you can disable this the redirection for your application. Uh, and uh, generally we, you should not do that, but just for your learning purpose, you can. So what I will do is that I'll stop the server so I'm going to do a control C this will stop my castle server which is running behind the scenes and what I will do is go to my code project I'm going to close this go to startup.cs and uh, down the bottom in this configure method you see uh, a line which says app dot use HTTPS redirection so I'm going to comment that out. Now I can save the file, rebuild our app. Spin up the server again. And now let's try to access localhost 5000. I'm going to close this. I see there was no re redirection to HTTPS. So that's fairly easy. And you can see that app is working perfectly fine. Here are the logs. We can do a lot, but we will. We will not get into details or specifics what we can do with MVC in .NET Core or what those starter files or program files contains. Uh, that will be a completely different topic. So let's stick to what we were doing. 
So I'm going to stop this here. So far we have created a console based application. We also have created a web based application, which was our MVC application. What next we will do is that we will create a, a console based application. Then we will add a class library to it, which will have a couple of methods or in a class. And uh, we will see how those two work together and give an output. Very simple.